Hello, in this demo, I am going to show you how to work with drop down list by binding it to the database. Say I have a drop down list, I will drag and drop it. In our earlier video, we have seen how to add items to the drop down list manually. Now, what I want is I want items in the drop down list to be binded to the database. I want the values to get from the database. So, how do I do that? It's very simple. I need to go to my SQL Server Express Edition. I have a database called as Organization and the tables in it Employee Table. Now I'll just right click on this and I'll say Edit Top 200 Rows to see me what are the columns and the values that I have in the Employee Table. Now I want to display Employee Name in the drop down list and the salary should be the value of that employee. So whenever uh, I, I have drop down list, we have seen we have two properties. One is selected item and another is selected value. The selected item should be employee name and selected value should be salary. So if I want to do that, I need to connect my project to this database. So how do I connect? Let me copy the server name and I'll go to my visual web developer and I'll just say view database explorer this is the new window that we are looking into for the first time that is nothing but database explorer now this is my database explorer now i can add connections i'll say just add connection connect to a database it will ask me to what database do you want to connect i want to connect to sql server database i'll say connect and the server name i'll paste it here and test whether it is working fine yeah it's working fine now i'll select the database that is nothing but organization. I'll say OK. So I should get the database here in my database explorer. Now I have the database ready with me. I can work with this database as I like. Now come back to our drop down list. This is how we got connected to the database. Now I want to connect to this particular table. So how do I do that? Select the drop down list, click on the smart tag. Earlier, we clicked on edit item. Now, this time I will be clicking on choose data source. Now, from here, I will say select a data source. This time, I want to select a new data source that is nothing but a database. Now, I will say OK. It is going to show me the database name in the drop down list. So that is nothing but organization. I'll select it. I'll say next. It says that save the connection string to the application configuration file. I'll say OK. Save it with the name my organization connection string. That means from the next time onwards, whenever I want to connect to the database in future in my project, it is not going to ask me to select the database again. It will simply say connect with this connection string, I can simply proceed with that connection string name. The name of the connection string is my organization connection string. I'll say next. Here I have got the employee table and I'll say select employee ID, uh, sorry, select employee name and employee salary. Why? Because I want to make item as name and value as salary. I'll say next. Test the query. It should display you the name and the salary and say finish. Now this time I should say the display field or data field should be employee name and the value field should be salary that is the item should be name and the value should be salary I'll say okay that's it I'll execute this it should display me all the employees Jack Peter Lily Mark so this is fine but uh, the first item should be select by default. So how do I get that value? It is very simple. Click on edit items and you add the select here and let the value be 0 and say OK and save this. Is this enough? Whenever I add select, is it going to reflect in the drop down list? No, it is not going to reflect in the drop down list. Why? Because I need to set one property of the drop down list that is nothing but append data bound items to true. 
whenever I set this property append data bond items to true, what is that it, it will do? It will display select and it is going to append whatever I get from the database. Now here I got the select in the drop down list. Now the last thing that I want to do here is whenever I click on a button what is that it should do? It should say hello mister the name of uh, the employee and says that hello mister your salary is so and so. I want to display that. So it is very simple. I can click on the button. I can simply uh, configure a string. I will say string k equals to hello. And here I will say k plus equals to drop down list one dot selected item. It is going to take the name dot to string. It is going to display this. Then I will say k plus equals to that means it will say hello, then the name of the employee, then some space, then plus. I'll say uh, some space, then I'll write your salary is some space. Then again, I'll say k plus equals to drop down list one dot selected value dot to string. So I'm displaying hello, then the name, then some space salary is say space then its value. Now I want to write this to the output window so I'll simply say response dot write k. I'll say 5. So this is going to work perfectly whenever I select an employee and click the button it should display me the salary of that particular employee. Hello Peter your salary is 67,000. Hello Jack your salary is 56,000. Hello Mark, your salary is sent. Now if I select, if I do not select anything and if I say click button, hello select your salary is zero. Actually it should validate, it should say that you need to select any one item before clicking on the button, before submitting the form. So these things we will be covering in our future videos that is nothing but validation controls. So this is how I can bind a drop down list to the database. Thank you very much.